In his continuous workaholic style of delivering his visible transformation mantra and keeping up to his promises, the chairman of Ethiopia's local government area of Delta State, Honorable Pastor Nelson Ogenedoro Owoso, has taken the monthly environmental sanitation exercise to Ogara Town, the headquarters of Ethiopia West. Honorable Owoso had previously carried out the same sanitation in Jesse Town, Igeri Kingdom, with the monarch of Igeri, His Royal Majesty Uduri I, on ground to join in supervising activities and the level of compliance across Jesse Town. The council boss in company of health and security personnel went around Ogara to make sure that the area is clean and that residents comply with the sanitation. During the exercise, Honorable Owoso was at the canal from Ajibodudu Road that links to the major Ogara River to evacuate the debris that has blocked the free flow of water over the years across major routes in Ogara. In his remark, the council boss hailed the men at work and promised to carry out periodic checks and more environmental works, extending the gesture to Mosoga town to make sure that Ethiopia West remains clean before sensitizing the public to shun littering canals with deaths as modalities are being put in place to checkmate residents as defaulters will be appropriately persecuted. We have discovered that we have um, uh, the drain. Uh, this drain connects the road to the river direct and we discover the old drain is, uh, is a block so we have to open it it's a major some a major uh, work here if this place is blocked there is no way that the water that is uh, on the surface of the road can uh, can uh, flow from that road to the river so we have to remove the, the debris first to ensure that once it rains, the water will move straight, will flow straight to the river. Uh, what we have done in uh, JC uh, has given us, has yielded um, a great result. Uh, for now, there is no flooding in the uh, in, uh, JC because once it rains, the water moves straight to, to the river. They run off straight to the river. And so we, we have been able to get um, a good result from uh, the situation uh, there in Jesse. That's why we decided to come to Ogara to ensure we carry out this same exercise to ensure once it rains, the water uh, find its way to the river direct. We also ensure that uh, from time to time we will carry out this uh, maintenance. Once you put that measure in place, if there is periodic uh, check, I think uh, we won't have uh, this uh, issue again. Also speaking, the head of Department Environment in Utip West, Mrs. Endurance Ishemiju, noted that residents must get involved in sanitation as all hands must be on deck to achieve a safe and clean Utip West for all. Station every uh, month is a monthly exercise that is being carried out and we have a routine in the department as a, an environmental health officer, we go out every day to see that the drains are not being blocked. We tell the, the occupants that they should, not, they should stop throwing refuse in the, in the drains and clean their environment. That is the measure that we take. So the department is working hard to see that the place is being sanitized. Honorable also, also in another move, inspected the ongoing road rehabilitation exercise carried out to patch and repair some of the potholes in Ogara by the council as they have become unmotorable to dwellers. Honorable also, while briefing newsmen, asked for patience, even as he commended the residents in Ogara and assured that the roads will be in good shape in a short period of time as measures have been put in place to tackle the issue. We are, we are doing environmental sanitation at the same time uh, using the other opportunity to also pass some uh, potholes. You discover that uh, with these big potholes on our road, uh, motorists, road users are finding it difficult to ply the road. So we are trying to ensure we we pass this uh, place. You can see the hardcore already as a, a base uh, course here. And um, we apply the finishing course, the, the concrete, to make it more uh, durable. It's all about making the road um, um, good for uh, the road users. 
uh, I, I want to thank uh, them for their patience and they should also have that confidence in us that we will continue to listen to their complaints and attend to it urgently. Eh? The Supervisory Councillor for Works Honourable Otuo Kinsley who said work has started on the bad areas to put the road into good use advise all to be patient as the chairman works assiduously to meet the needs of the people of Ethiopia West just as he had promised in his manifesto. And uh, as you can see now, uh, I think uh, we, we, have, uh, we have achieved a 70% completion of the, of the job you are seeing here now. I think uh, within two or three days, we will we'll get to the pinnacle and uh, make sure we we'll complete the road, make it uh, uh, usable to the road user. Yes, my advice to our people, most especially people of uh, Ethiopia West, uh, as a vice councillor for Wars, uh, the chairman have given me the, direct, the directive to make sure every pothole in Ethiopia West is, uh, is being maintained so that we will be most variable. So my advice to our people, they should be patient with us. Uh, the chairman is very much ready to, to deliver the desires of democracy to his people. I am Akbarero Henry Akbos and Nogara. This is Real TV. Thank you for watching.